Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you quickly how to convert op parse, which is deprecated to arg parse. And a lot of you guys are probably watching this video because you might be in a legacy application that still uses op parse and you want to find the most convenient, easy way to convert to arg parse in a mass function, which is what I use this process for. And for those of you guys who don't even know what op parse is, it's actually just a package in Python that's currently deprecated that allows you to specify options of the command line and a different syntax that some programmers and people who write the projects find more convenient for their application. Enough being said, let's jump right into the code here. So currently I have this function right now that uses op parse to parse my command line arguments, positional arguments, and my flag arguments to execute some logic here. And what that logic does is it takes a file name here and it takes an option to print your name on screen, yes or no. And he, down here it saves your name from the positional arguments into a file. And then over here, if you choose to print your name as yes, it'll print your name on the screen. And running that real quickly on the bottom here, you guys can see that it executes parsing. So I'm just calling the main function, which calls this function. And then I have some print statements here. So it prints the, the ops, which is file and print bool. As you can see, I pass them here, the flags. And then finally it prints my name on the screen fully down here, which is on line 30. And before that, I printed the args, which is on line 27. So we see that does that nicely. And this has a lot of application to, you know, passing arguments in a clean and a Linux style fashion that many people find useful. But, you know, this is deprecated and we want to switch to arg parse. And in order to do that, it's actually fairly easy. The first thing we want to do is just import arg parse from arg parse import argument parser. And I'm just going to copy all this and show you how easy it is and to do this in the least code invasive way. So let's copy this down here. I'm just going to do this. Now that I have the code for my previous function right here, I'm just going to go through and make the edits. They're really easy. So as opposed to putting off parser, you're just going to write argument parser. And then instead of parser add option, you're just going to write parser that add arguments very easy we're gonna do that for both of these and then instead of this type string you're gonna notice that argument parser does not have the same types method so you're gonna actually have to type str for string and if it was an integer you'd have to type int so you'd have to go through those for your arguments and make sure that the type is correct also down here we have in op parse, the, the parser actually splits your flags from your positional arguments in ops and args, but argument parser does not do that splitting for you, so it'll just split it in one block. But in order to get that same functionality in argument parser, we could actually use a trick, and we could say parse known args, and that'll give us the same functionality we had before, as opposed to having to change more logic down here. And that's what's convenient about using this, is what I used when I was doing this in the switch, it just allowed me to do this in a very uh, minimally code invasive way. And then other than that, that should be all what we need to get this to work here. So I'm going to clear this. I'm going to switch this to arg parser. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it. And this should work with the same exact arguments that we used before. So python parser.py file name test uh, txt. We want to print on the screen. And my name is Mahmoud Shula. I'm going to go ahead and just enter that. Okay, it's exactly what we wanted here. So executing, perfect. And I'll show you guys that I did print in the file so you guys can believe me that it is working the way it should. So I have this text file over here and that's pretty much it. So just be aware that if you want to do this in a really quick way, switch parse args to parse known args and you should get the same functionality you do get in op parser. And for the most part, it's a pretty easy switch. And you can use any replacement tool you want. I used SED in Linux to do a lot of the replacement for me, but there's a lot of replacement tools and IDEs that you can use to make this switch really easy. If you're working a big project that does use op parse and you want to switch to the better arg parse library. So I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys saw that this is a really quick and easy process to do to use a newer module that's no longer deprecated. Stay tuned to this YouTube channel. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Subscribe and feel free to message me on LinkedIn as well if you want. And stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching.